finally back with another makeup tutorial. Sorry about my nasaliness. I am sick or my allergies have been bothering me, which has kind of turned into a cold. But I wanted to take advantage of this time and go ahead and film this tutorial for you dolls. I have had this tutorial planned for quite some time now, but I just hadn't got around to doing it. And basically, I am featuring the Pretty Little Miss Grace palette by Sedona Lace in this video. Absolutely love this palette. The colors and everything on this palette are absolutely gorgeous. They're my favorite colors. They actually match my nails right now. So Pretty Little Miss Grace does have a channel here on YouTube. She does do videos, and this is a collaboration that she did with Sedona Lace. I'm pretty sure you dolls are subscribe to her she does bomb tutorials I'll put her link down below but I got the palette and of course I like the packaging it's just super cute and then on the inside you do get a full mirror and then here are the colors so basically the colors that I used in this palette mostly were on the top row I actually didn't touch the bottom row at all I used all of the blue shades in the palette or green shades and then I also used the brown and the black. And then I also used some MAC shadows to use in my crease and everything as well as Norris Galapagos because I just cannot get away from that shadow right now. And I did put in my circle lenses just to give this a different type of look. And I'll put the link down below for which ones I have on. I hope you dolls enjoy this tutorial. Bye dolls. Okay doll, so I decided to go ahead and edit this video as a talk through. So first I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to be using this to clean up under my brows and then I also like to apply it to my lid and all over because this works as a great base and your eyeshadows will stick to it really nicely. And I just take a synthetic brush and kind of just work that in and then I'll blend out the edges with my fingers. and I'm just gonna apply this all over just so that we don't get any skipping with the shadows and they don't stick on too much to where you can't blend out so now I'm using my MAC palette and the first color that I'm using is called what is this called this is called saddle and the other color is called brown script so I'm just gonna work those two into the crease area with a large blending brush So then the next color that I'm taking is called soft brown and I'm just going to use that one right above so that it will blend out really nicely into our highlight color. So the colors that I'm using for the highlight is Blanc type and that's the matte one at the top and then the one at the bottom is called Rice Paper and it has a little bit of a frost to it so I like to mix the two together so it's not too matte or not too frosty whenever I want to do something that's kind of in between. Then I'm just taking my blending brush and going back in and blending that out. So now I'm going in with the Pretty Little Miss Grace palette. So I'm starting off with the brown shade and I'm showing you the brush that comes in the palette also. And I'm gonna be using this brush on most of the look. So I'm just gonna work that brown shade into the crease. It wasn't quite dark enough for my liking, but it just kind of mapped out where I'm gonna start with my crease color. So I just placed that in the crease and blended it back and forth. And then I'm going back into my MAC palette and I'm grabbing the color Brown Down and Embark. And I'm using that same brush that comes in the palette. So then next I'm going into my NARS little palette and I'm using the color Galapagos because I just cannot get away from this color. I keep using it every time and this blending brush is pretty precise so I'm going in with a fluffier brush to kind of help blend that out a little bit more. So now I'm going back into the Grace palette and I'm using the lighter blue color in the palette. This one is more of like a turquoise or teal color and I'm placing that on my inner corner also leaning a little bit towards the middle part of the lid and i also did wet my brush down with some fix plus so that i would not have as much fallout and the colors will be more full so then i'm going in with the green shade which is right next to the teal or blue color in the palette and i'm just going to pack that on to the center of the lid and i'm going to overlap 
the colors together so that they blend together really nicely and you don't really have to work hard to blend them. Then I'm going in with the darker blue shade which is like a navy color and I'm going to work that into the outer portion or that last section of the lid that we have left open and I'm still overlapping the colors so that they blend in really nicely together. It's kind of hard to tell on camera the difference of the three colors. Well, the darker one obviously you can tell but the first two look pretty similar but they're not the same. So then I took a fluffy um, synthetic brush and I just blended that out and then I'm going back in with Galapagos and just working that into the crease area and I don't know about these um, talk through dolls because I'm just talking up a storm and usually you know it's really quick so I can't say much but yeah I'm just blending that into the crease and then I'm going back in with the brown shade in the grace palette and I'm mixing it with the black and I'm just working that in the outer portion to just deepen up the crease and outer V area so now I'm taking max rule and I'm just gonna warm up the look even more I love using orange tones I just love warm colors and warm looks so then I'm gonna go ahead and line my lids I'm using the urban decay perversion gel liner along with some Inglot's Duraline and I'm just gonna line my lids I don't want the uh, line to be up too high so that it covers up all of the color that we did so I'm gonna do a wing but I'm gonna keep it really low working on my wing and I'm trying to keep it as low as possible but where it still looks looks nice so now I'm gonna use my moisturizer and I mix my moisturizer and the MAC face and body foundation and then I'm also gonna mix in an illuminizer and this one is from City Color and I'm just gonna place quite a bit I usually don't even use this much but I want it to look really dewy since this is like a mermaid type of look so I'm just gonna mix that all together with my finger and then I'm gonna apply it on my face. I'm gonna grab my beauty blender and of course you wanna wet it first. This is what's gonna really help to give you that dewy glowy look. And it is really refreshing for your skin if your skin gets dry, which mine doesn't. I produce oils throughout the day, but it's still okay. Um, I don't find that I get overly oily whenever I use this foundation. But lately I've been using it without mixing in the moisturizer so that it does give a little bit more. But I wasn't going anywhere this day, so I actually washed my makeup off right after doing this. So yeah because I was sick if, as you guys know from the beginning but anyways yeah so I'm just gonna keep blending that in all over and make sure you bring it down on your neck and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer underneath my eyes and I'm just using a MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer this is the same one I used um, to use as my base um, and yeah I'm just gonna apply that underneath I'm getting all tongue-tied right now I was trying to think of what color it is but I cannot think I believe it's like NC 40 or NC 35 or something like that it is a lot lighter but I think it blends out really nicely especially with this foundation it's kind of just like the tinted moisturizer because this foundation is really not a um, full coverage or medium coverage at all so yeah I'm just gonna keep blending it in and I love how it just blends into the skin really nicely whenever I'm wearing the foundation so yeah then I'm gonna go ahead and set that and for setting it oh I lied next I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on my nose and I'm just taking a bit and I'm gonna run it a little bit on my forehead as well to highlight but not too much I don't want to overdo it so now I'm gonna set under my eyes I use my NARS translucent crystal powder this day um, and yeah that's what I'm just using to set underneath my eyes and then of course you can go ahead and set the face. I didn't this day because I just didn't have my mind completely together because I was sick. So next I'm actually gonna move on to contouring and I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I mix the lighter colors together and I'm just gonna work those in and do my contour with them. Not sure why I stopped and what I was thinking about. But yeah, I'm just going to keep building this up more and more until I get it to the color that I want it to be. And then 
Next, I'm taking this MAC blush. This one is a limited edition. It's a blush ombre and it's a pink color. So I'm just gonna apply that to the cheeks and this is a matte blush, I believe so. Or if it has some sheen, it's not very much. So I put this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick on top. I believe this one is in pink quartz or something like that. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do underneath my eyes and then we'll go back to the face later. So I'm using Galapagos and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. And I'm using that same brush that came in the Grace palette. Since this is a blending brush, but it's more tightly put together, I think it works great on the lash line. And as you can see, I was putting on some mascara, look absolutely crazy. And then I'm lining my uh, waterline using a Urban Decay Black Liner. And I'm just gonna kind of use this stippling brush to blend out that color a little bit. It was a little bit too much for me. And I'm applying my, what are these lashes called? The Coco Lashes Goddess Lashes. And these have just about had it. So yeah, this was probably like my last time wearing this particular pair. So I need to pick up more of those because I absolutely love these lashes. They just give you a really dolly look and I just love them. They don't look natural whatsoever, but I think they look really pretty. So those are the lashes that I applied. And then next I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara on my bottom lashes and then I applied a shimmer brick for my highlight. I believe this one is called Sunset Pink. And sorry, the camera got orange because I had stepped out, but I'm just gonna do my nose contour using my Becca Low Light and Highlighting Palette. And as you can see, we're back to our normal color. And I just apply it kind of heavily and then I go ahead and blend it out with my fingers because I just feel like this is the perfect powder to use for my nose contour. It just blends out so, so nicely and I really, really love it. So I'm just gonna blend that out with my fingers. And my nose is running. So yeah, I took that bronzer um, and I'm just applying it a little bit in my crease. The lipstick that I'm applying is Max Sweet Experience and this was a limited edition color, but there are so many colors like this one and I just kind of blotted it on because I didn't want it to be too much. And then the gloss that I'm applying on top is also by MAC and this one is called Lots of Laughs. And these were both from the same collection, but there are plenty of other dupes that you can find. So yeah, that is pretty much the look. I just wanted something kind of pinky coral on the lips with these really nice blue mermaid eyes. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye dolls. Thank you.